Hello fellow Chopperoos, Chad here and on today's episode I have a really neat quick tip for you. Now this came as a result from a question from one of you all, the viewers. This viewer lived here locally and so he gave me a call and he said he's trying to make a corner desk for his grandson and on the large top when he cuts that 45 degrees well, when he puts the two pieces together, no matter what he does, he still has a gap. And, of course, that's a difficult situation. It's, it's too big to fit in a miter saw. It's too large and, and bulky to put across the joiner. And he just didn't know how to get rid of those gaps. So I told him, you know what? Bring it by the shop. I'll have it fixed in five minutes. So I thought this would be a great tip to share with you. So you can put it up there in the memory bank for future projects that you're doing. Now keep in mind, this is not the actual desk of his. This is a, a mock-up that I made for you all, but you'll get the idea. So here's the tip. Okay, so here's a couple of scrap pieces of wood, and you have to work with me here. You have to use a little bit of your imagination. Let's pretend that this is one side of the corner table, and it's much longer. This is the other side, again, much longer. And I've already made my 45 degree cut across both of them. And it looked pretty good. I put a straight edge on it, it looked fine. But then when I put it together, I'll see that I have a, a gap up here, then it gets tight in the middle, and then it comes back to a gap the rest of the way. Now I could try using a hand plane and sanding this out as well, but I'll just be chasing my tail. So here's a trick that I use with my circular saw. The theory is that I'm going to take my circular saw and run it right down the middle of this. So I'm removing some waste off of this side and an equal amount off on that side. And then it should fit together for a perfect fit. Now I can do this with the circular saw and clamping a straight edge on here, but for the speed's sake, I'm going to use my fest, uh, Festool track saw. Now normally, again, with this being longer, I would put a couple of clamps down. I'd have some sacrificial wood underneath. And same thing on this side, it would run longer. I'd put clamps down so it wouldn't move. Um, but for, for speed's sake, I'm just going to throw a couple of McFeely screws in here to hold it in place and act as if they're clamps. Okay, and I'll lay the track saw on here. Again, I want to try and split that line. Then I'll make the cut. Remove the clamps. put it together, and that is a beautiful fit. Ooh. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick tip and are able to use it somewhere in the near future on your woodworking projects. Now, of course, if you liked this episode, please like, subscribe, and share it with others. Don't forget, on Monday, this coming Monday, we have uh, the episodes of What Are You Doing with a whole bunch of entries that have come in this week. So I'm very excited to show those to you. And then on Wednesday, the After Hours Woodworking Show, we have Gerald Vance. He's going to be doing a small segment on it on some old tools. And Gerald... Uh, is over there at the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop 
a TV show where he is the creator and host of it. So we're lucky to have him do a little spotlight segment for us. And of course, right back here on Friday for another project or quick tip to help you become better woodworkers. As always, thanks for watching and keep on dancing.